Speaking outside 10 Downing Street after a disastrous elections for the Conservative Party, Rishi Sunak confirmed his resignation as Prime Minister and said, to the country I would like to say first and foremost, I am sorry. I have heard your anger, your disappointment, and I take responsibility for this loss. He added, I am honored to have been your Prime Minister, this is the best country in the world. He also said he would step down as conservative leader once the arrangements for selecting his successor were in place. The party looks set to win just over 121 seats, its worst result in history. Sunak also congratulated Keir Starmer on Labour's resounding victory, saying, in this job his successes will be all our successes and I wish him and his family well. Whatever our disagreements in this campaign he is a decent, public-spirited man who I respect, Sunak said it is important the Conservative Party now rebuilds and also takes up its crucial role in opposition, professionally and effectively. He also thanked his Conservative colleagues, his cabinet, the civil service and his teams in Downing Street, the PM's country retreat checkers and his staff at Conservative headquarters. Sunak became Tory leader in October 2022 without any contest after the implosion of Liz Truss's 45-day stint in Downing Street. He has pledged to stay on as an MP for the full term of the current parliament. After giving his resignation speech in Downing Street, Sunak and his wife Akshata walked up Downing Street into a car that took them to Buckingham Palace where he tended his resignation to the king, as required. Soon after, the king's spokesman said, His Majesty was graciously pleased to accept. With the Windsor framework, devolution restored in Northern Ireland, and our union strengthened. I'm proud of those achievements. I believe this country is safer, stronger, and more secure than it was 20 months ago. And it is more prosperous, fairer, and resilient than it was in 2010. Whilst he has been my political opponent, Sir Keir Starmer will shortly become our Prime Minister. In this job, his successes will be all our successes, and I wish him and his family well. Whatever our disagreements in this campaign, he is a decent, public-spirited man who I respect. He and his family deserve the very best of our understanding as they make the huge transition to their new lives behind this door, and as he grapples with this most demanding of jobs in an increasingly unstable world. I'd like to thank my colleagues, my cabinet, the civil service, especially here in Downing Street, the team at Chequers, my staff, CCHQ, but most of all, I'd like to express my gratitude to my wife Akshatha and our beautiful daughters. I can never thank them enough for the sacrifices they have made so that I might serve our country. One of the most remarkable things about Britain is just how unremarkable it is that two generations after my grandparents came here with little, I could become prime minister and that I could watch my two young daughters light Diwali candles on the steps in Downing Street. We must hold true to that idea of who we are, that vision of kindness, decency, and tolerance that has always been the British way. This is a difficult day, at the end of a number of difficult days. But I leave this job honoured to have been your Prime Minister. This is the best country in the world, and it is thanks entirely to you, the British people, the true source of all our achievements, our strengths, and our greatness. Thank you.